These are some of the best tacos I've ever had, but they certainly didn't start off looking this way. Let me show you the protein we used in making these tacos. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to Garden State Barbecue. I'm Giuliano Rujo, and today's video is quite the banger. Guys, make sure at the end of the video, you like, share, save the video, tell your friends about it. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. See ya. This is a cow's tongue. It's my first time cooking a cow's tongue, handling a cow's tongue, even seeing a cow's tongue. The exterior texture is like sandpaper and there's like a tough layer of skin around the whole thing. Only exposed meat is underneath and it's full of fat and has all types of weird dangling pieces coming off of it. But it does look like it has some decent marbling. I decided to dry brine it overnight to allow some salt penetration to get into the piece of protein and hopefully dry out some of that exterior skin because we're then gonna be putting it in a vacuum sealed bag with some beef tallow with aromatics. This is what it looked like the next day. The salt nearly penetrated the skin zero, but you could see from the underside, any exposed meat did take on quite a bit of salt as seen by the red color. Here's where I take the beef tallow and put it in this tray with those aromatics. And we're gonna be smoking the cow tongue and tray of beef tallow for about four hours before putting it in the sous vide bag. Let's do it. Cups of the masa, one and a quarter cups of water. I'm gonna add some Wagyu beef tallow. I'm just gonna need this. Not entirely sure how much I'm gonna need to start. Start with that, mash it, and make it smaller. Oh, I think that's perfect. Yeah. Bit of beef tallow. little dish that I'll cover up, put the lid on it so they stay warm. All right guys, so tortillas are done. Uh, next thing I wanna do is make a quick salsa verde to go on these tacos. I wanna chop up some fresh onion and a little bit of fresh cilantro and then I'll show you, I'll show you the protein. I'll show you the protein that's going on these tacos. Stay tuned. Tomatillos down to roast up for this salsa verde. And I'll get this onion. Come on now. Bit of roasting 
connection. Let's make this quick salsa here today. I would have liked to throw in a jalapeno in here. Maybe some other chilies, but this is what we're going to go with. Also decided to have some individually packaged guacamole, you know, packets, like those little 100 calorie jobs. Oops, I'm gonna throw it in here, that was a juicy one. I'm gonna throw it in here to give it a little bit of a creamy consistency, just slightly. Right, uh, in here, salt, pepper, some ancho chili powder, and some other peppers, dried peppers. in there. I like it. Corn feed. Tom. Took on a really nice color and hit it on the flat top and crisp it up and hit it with some taco seasoning. It smells really good. We're gonna go ahead and just Peel this away. Oh yeah, look at, oh, look at the texture of this thing. Let's chop this up. Let's, let's first start by hacking this off. Let's see. Very interesting. Got these bad boys back on the black stone. Crisping up in some beef tallow. We're gonna hit them with some season. Oh boy. All right, guys, I'm gonna let that finish crisping up. Let's go inside and assemble these tacos. I'm surprised. de lengua. Let's give this a bite. Cheers. It's vital when you're having a taco like this that you do it this way. Got to be corn tortillas. Got to be super simple. The cow tongue is like the flavor of like oxtail almost, you know? Excellent flavor. Got a hint of the smoke. Even though I dry brined it, didn't take on a tremendous amount of salt. Hitting it with that additional seasoning on the flat top worked out great. Some of these bits are getting like reminiscent of like almost like a beef bacon type of flavor. Some are super like almost gelatinous, like a really soft, like an oxtail or 
when I before I crisped it, and even even after, some of the pieces have almost like a a hot dog like consistency too. Again, not a bad thing at all. Excellent. You need a nice punch of cilantro, a nice punch of lime, fresh onion, the raw onion in there. Super important. That salsa verde, excellent. And you need a little heat. I hit it with a little bit of habanero hot sauce. Really good. Mm. Mm. Really good. And again, super important. It works so well with the corn tortilla. Corn tortillas, extremely, extremely easy to make. Wow, that is excellent. Started off with a process of dry brining it on the outside, putting it in the fridge overnight, taking it out, throwing it on the smoker for about four or five hours or so, Taking it out, and when it, while it was in the smoker, we hit it with those aromatics, the garlic, the shallots, the bay leaves, the peppercorns, the chili arbol. Put that all in beef tallow to smoke, and it almost like confit in the sous vide bag for another close to 24 hours. Maybe felt a little bit shy of 24 hours because the day got late um, yesterday, but super tender, this taco.